that need to be broken. A covenant, when somebody is in a covenant, that covenant is said, until death do us part. That's why a married covenant is very strong. Because when you make a covenant in marriage, that is forever and ever and ever until one of y'all die. Amen. It's the same way in the spirit. It's the same way. Until somebody die. Because you can never be free from that until somebody die. Jesus. Hallelujah. God told me, he said, go to the night. And that's why I'm going to, I mean, can't get an order, but the Lord said, the night. I got to show you how you can be delivered. Psalms 104, verse 25 and 26. Amen. I know this song strange to some of y'all. <laughs> it sounds strange. So we're past the talking about. Amen. We're past the teaching us. Amen. If it's in the Bible, it must be true. Amen. Amen. Psalms 104 and verse 25 and 26. And it read. So it is great and wild. Uh -huh. Great and wild. Wide sea. Therein are things. Go fish. Amen. He's not talking about no whale. He's talking about creatures. That live in the sea. Read. There go the ships. There is that the visiting whom the demons. Yes. Yeah, they will go by the river, by the sea, whatever, and call the demon out and feed sacrifice to the demon. In order for their power to increase, they will sacrifice to the demon and give them meat. In the sea. Go ahead. That thou give them, they gather thou. Uh -huh. That live on the water, that abide in the water. Amen. Where they live. In the sea. Amen. And what their job is. Their job is to possess man Amen. and woman. Wherever there's an opening, they will come in. Wherever there's an opening, they will come in. Let's go to Isaiah 
44 and verse 27. Isaiah 24 verse 47. Amen. I mean, 44 and verse 7, sorry. Forty-four verse twenty-seven. Go ahead. Isaiah forty-four twenty-seven. Uh huh. That saith to the deep. Uh huh. Be dry. Uh huh. And I will dry up thy river. You see? Amen. It says to the deep, be dry, and I will dry up your river. Dry up your river. This is one of the prayers that you pray when you're dealing with that kind of spirit. You commanded the water to the deep to be dry. Because that's where they, that's their dwelling places. Their dwelling place is in the water. This is where they work, is in the water. They operate in the water. They function in the water. Amen. Mm -hmm. They function inside of the water. And out of the water they cannot function right. That's right. Ezekiel 26 was. 16. Go ahead, read. Then all the nations, then all the princes of the sea, you hear that? Shall come down from their thrones. Ah, so now they have a wall. Yeah, well. So they call themselves what? Princes that were live in the sea. And the Bible said the sea, right? Amen. So who the Bible talking about? The marine spirit. The marine spirit. That consider themselves as princes. And every princess have a kingdom. And in the kingdom there's a throne. Go ahead. Uh -huh. And lay away their robes and put off their broidered garments. Mm -hmm. They shall clothe themselves with trembling. Mm -hmm. They shall sit upon the ground. Uh -huh. They shall tremble at every moment mm -hmm. and be astonished at thee. My God. Amen. Let's go to Job 26, verse 5. Job 26, verse 5. Job 26, verse 5. Amen. If you have it, say amen. Amen. Go ahead. Dead things are formed uh -huh. from under the water. You get it? And the inhabitants thereof. Dead things are formed where? Well, in the water. In the water. And in the what? The inhabited. My God, their things, their things are forming the water. So this is where they work, in the water. This is where they form stuff. It's in the water. This is where stuff, is, they, they begin to work, it's in the water. Their things are forming the water. Glory be to God. Whatever. That he's trying to form in the water. Let it be counts of the night in Jesus' name. Now, saints of God, let's go into the prayer of deliverance. The prayer of deliverance from marine spirit. The prayer of deliverance from the marine spirit. So we know that they are exist. How do we know? The word, right? So now, we're going to know how we, how in any way that you can be tied to this, whether conscious or unconscious, we're going to know how we can be free from it. I ask, I ask the church says that in somewhere, somewhere any we all has been tied to it. 
Because if you ever had sexual relationship out